Hello students, this is me Nilima Shakya. Today, we are going to find all the trigonometric ratios of the angle 90 degree plus theta. Now let's work to find the trigonometric ratios of the angle 90 degree plus theta. For this, let's take coordinate axis and a circle is drawn with the center at origin and a point P x comma y is taken on the circumference of the circle in the first quadrant P x y. It is taken such a way that radius OP equals to R here, R and angle P O x equals to theta. Angle P O x equals to theta. In our previous class, we have defined sine theta as the ratio of y coordinate of the point to the radius. Here, y coordinate of the point is y and radius is r. So we write here y by r. Similarly, cos theta is the ratio of x coordinate of the point to the radius. Here, x coordinate of point P is x. So we write here x and radius is r. The third ratio, tan theta. It is the ratio of the y coordinate of the point to the x coordinate. So here we write y by x. Now another ratio cosec theta. It is the ratio of radius to the y coordinate of the point. Also it is the reciprocal of sine theta. Substituting r and y coordinate, we have it as r by y. Look here. It is the reciprocal of sine theta. Sine theta is y by r and cosec theta is r by y. Similarly, sec theta, the ratio radius to the x coordinate of the point. So we write here r by x. And the last ratio, cot theta, which is the ratio of x coordinate of the point to the y coordinate. So we write here, x coordinate is x and y coordinate is y. Now let's write conclusion for these things. Here in the first line, we have sine theta equals to y by r. Second one, cos theta equals to x by r. The third ratio, tan theta is y by x. Fourth, cosec theta is r by y. Fifth, sec theta equals to r by x and the last one cot theta is x by y. Now we are going to find the trigonometric ratios of the angle 90 degree plus theta. For that we need some construction. There's no workspace so students we are going to do in the page number two, second page. This is the figure from our first page where px comma y is the point, o is the center, and OP radius and angle POX equals to theta. Now let's draw PM perpendicular X axis. From P, PM is drawn perpendicular to X axis. With the help of this coordinate PX comma Y, we can have the length of OM as X and length of PM is Y so that in this right angle triangle, POM, we have the sides, OM is X, PM is Y, and OP is R. Again, let's take one more point R on the circumference of the circle on the second quadrant so that we have this OR is the radius here, and we write it here radius OR equals to R. And this angle ROY equals to theta. ROY equals to theta. Look here students, we have this angle XOY, this one it is equals to 90 degree. Angle XOY equals to 90 degree. Also, we have taken R in such a position that we have angle ROY equals to theta. Angle ROY equals to theta. Now, this whole angle XO, 
r this whole angle we have it as 90 degree plus theta angle xor equals to 90 degree plus theta let's draw one more perpendicular rn perpendicular to x axis since rn and y axis both are perpendicular to x axis they are parallel to each other rn is parallel to y axis so we have a pair of alternate angles equal roy is alternate angle is orn here it is these two are alternate angles so they are equal angle nro equals to angle roy both are equal to theta now we are going to prove these two right angle triangles are congruent in the first right angle triangle pmo here angle pmo this one pmo is 90 degree and in the second right angle triangle rno we have angle rno this is equals to 90 degree again in the first right angle triangle we have angle pom equals to theta and in the right angle triangle of the second quadrant we have nro equals to theta so here we write angle nro equals to theta since ro and po both are radius they are equal so we have op equals to r which is equals to radius again or now by the aas axiom the both the triangles are congruent now we are equating the corresponding sides of the congruent triangle look here students this pm is opposite of theta we have pm equals to y and corresponding side of this pm is opposite to theta of the second triangle that is on so we have on is also equals to y corresponding sides and again om is x we have and corresponding sides of om is rn which is equals to x now we can write the coordinate of this point r since on equals to y and rn equals to x we have coordinate of r is minus y comma x minus is taken here because this y lies in the negative side of the x axis so we have the coordinate of r is r minus y comma x now we are ready to find all the trigonometric ratios of the angle 90 degree plus theta let's work it in another page this is the figure we had drawn in previous page here this angle x o y is 90 degree and angle r o y equals to theta we have already mentioned in previous page also so that we have this whole angle it is x o r equals to 90 degree plus theta and also we have coordinate of r is r minus y comma x also let's write all the trigonometric ratios of the angle theta from the first page finally we are going to find the trigonometric ratios of the angle 90 degree plus theta first one sin 90 degree plus theta its formula is y coordinate of r by radius don't get confused students because there are two points and each of them have its own x and y coordinates but for this 90 degree plus theta the terminating line of this 90 degree plus theta is or so we are going to take the y coordinate of r which is x here so y coordinate of r is x and radius is r but when we check these ratios from the first page or 
trigonometric ratios for the angle theta x by r is the ratio of cos theta. So we are going to substitute this x by r by cos theta. Replace x by r with cos theta. Moving on to second ratio, cos 90 degree plus theta. Its formula is x coordinate of the point by radius. We have to take x coordinate of r because this OR is the terminating line of the angle 90 degree plus theta. X coordinate of r is minus y here. This is minus y and radius is r. And when we check our previous work, this y by r is the ratio of sine theta. So we copy minus as it is and replace this y by r by sine theta. Another ratio tan 90 degree plus theta. Its formula is y coordinate of r by x coordinate of r. Here, y coordinate of r is x, second coordinate, that is x. So we have here x and x coordinate of r is minus y. x coordinate is first coordinate, so it is minus y. Look students, this x by y, here it is in ratio number six. x by y is the ratio of cot theta. So we are going to replace this x by y by cot theta minus copied as it is and x by y is replaced by cot theta. Another ratio cosec 90 degree plus theta. Its formula is radius by y coordinate of r. Radius is r and y coordinate of r is x. From here we replace y coordinate of r by x. So we have it is r by x. This r by x, here we have in ratio number five, ratio of the sec theta. So we can replace this r by x by sec theta here. Another ratio for sec 90 degree plus theta, its formula is radius by x coordinate of r. That is r by x coordinate of r is minus y. Here also we copy minus as it is, but this r by y is the ratio of cosec theta. So we can replace this r by y by cosec theta. So let's replace this r by y by cosec theta minus copied as it is. The last ratio caught 90 degree plus theta. Its formula is x coordinate of r by y coordinate of r. Here x coordinate is minus y and y coordinate is x. So we write here minus y by x. This y by x is the ratio of tan theta. So we copy minus as it is and y by x is replaced by tan theta. Now let's write conclusion. From the first line, we have sine 90 degree plus theta equals to cos theta. From the second line, we have cos 90 degree plus theta equals to minus sine theta. From the third line, we have tan 90 degree plus theta equals to minus cot theta. Fourth line, cosec 90 degree plus theta equals to sec theta from here. And fifth one, sec 90 degree plus theta equals to minus cosec theta. And the last line, cot 90 degree plus theta equals to minus tan theta. Hence, we have all the trigonometric ratios of the angle 90 degree plus theta. Okay, students, this much for now. Thank you for watching this video.